Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, what it is, what it is, fellas. Ladies, kiddos, rippers, collectors, man. Um, it is uh, restock day out here. Uh, stopped by a few different stores, found some more of this fun stuff. The 2022 update series, guys, you guys already know. This is the modern day 2018 update. Um, you know, maybe even uh, 2019 update, you know. But, uh, man, with that said, I'm Rex, back with some more packs. This is another freestyle rip, guys. For those of you that know, you know. For those of you that are new here, well, you're about to find out. Um, this is freestyle, man. This is how we get down over here on this side of YouTube. But, uh, man, I uh, was uh, just pondering. Man, I need to do, like, a giveaway, man, to my... Uh, you know, uh, to my subscribers, especially the ones that are always there supporting me, man. Um, thank you. I'm going to do a little research on uh, some of uh, you guys, and uh, I'm going to come up with some stuff, man. Some stuff that hopefully you guys might like. I don't know what I'm going to do, um, you know, because this is new to me, and I'm always busy at work, but I am going to get around to it just so you guys know. But with that said, man, welcome. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you guys are finding some of this stuff out there. It's starting to pop up a little bit more, I think. Um, I did see it at a few different Walmarts, you know, stuff like that, a couple Targets. And um, I think, you know, it's going to be plentiful. But it's been fun, man. The chase is fun and, and all that. And uh, I'm still going to be buying it as much as I can. But with that, guys, so I got these two hanger boxes here. Those are Walgreens. I found these at Walgreens today. I found this uh, blaster. This is a Barnes and Noble blaster. And then, uh, as you guys can see in the picture, um, I got these retail packs, and these are from Lids, from out here, where I'm at. So we're gonna we're gonna see if uh, ripping stuff from different stores, um, you know, have a change in the dynamic of the hits. But uh, man, I got a good feeling we're gonna be hitting some fire. So please sit down, guys, everybody. Watch at your own discretion. Um, you are responsible for your own, um, you know, mental state. Because uh, after we pull what we pull, I'm telling you guys, um, man, none of us are going to be the same ever again. But uh, with that, guys, let's get into it, man. Enough talking. Enough talking. Come on. Come on, Rex. Let's get into it. Uh, where's my knife? I can't find my knife. Let's see. Where is the knife? You guys ever watched Golden Child? Um, with Eddie Murphy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I want the knife. But I cannot find the knife. Um, I just had it. Oh, well. That's cool. All right, guys, let's roll the dice. Let's see what we're going to be ripping first. Um, all right, let's see here. So first off, we'll roll for the retail packs. Five. Blaster box. Five. Hanger boxes. Two. So we know what's who's last. Hanger boxes are last. So we'll go with the hanger. Eleven for the retail packs. And four for the blaster. So we're going to go with the retail packs first. Alright y'all. Like I said here. Um, watch at your own discretion. Because. Uh, you never know. Your mind might be blown. We might end up pulling. Some fire. So we're going to see, actually, guys, uh, you know, what format is best. Last time I did this, the blaster box, or no, I think the retail packs actually took it. Yeah, definitely, the retail packs took it because we ended up pulling um, a Jeremy Payne. No, it was the blaster box. We pulled the Jer Jeremy Payne short print, actually. Um, but besides that, the retail packs would have took it, um, if that makes sense. Hunter Renfro. Oh, speaking. 
Say his name and he will appear. Jeremy Pena, man, dude. That dude, I think he's going to be great, man. I think he's going to be amazing. Actually, that card is pretty. It's a little OC'd, off centered. But we're still going to. Uh, we're going to sleeve it. And we're going to keep track of the. You know, just the main rookies, the better names. Jose Asokar, Angleton Simmons, J.P. Sears. It's the Yankees. That's Jake Fraley. Uh-oh. Dang, look at that, man. You guys see that on that card? Mangled. Look at that. Like somebody took a chunk out of it. Damn. All right, whatever. Let's get in. Let's 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 stay focused, Rex. Come on, we got a lot of ripping to do, and uh, we only got thirty minutes to do it. But uh, oh, we'll probably do a recap at the end, guys. So if you guys want to just fast forward, that's cool too. And then we got a Johnny Mize diamond cut like that, and then we got a Brandon Crawford. So um, I like to sleep these. These die cuts just because uh, they're worth a few bucks. They're always worth a few bucks. So yeah, all right, guys, nothing, nothing too, too crazy there. But still, I like to put my card back in the sleeves, and then later on when I'm when I'm sorting through them, um, it's kind of like opening them up again, you know? Because you never know, man. That JP Sears he might end up becoming the next. Uh, the next Shohei Otani or the next, uh, uh, any, uh, anyways, he might end up becoming the best, next best, uh, pitcher. Uh, Mackenzie Gore for the Padres. Chris Bryant. Jacob Stallings. Hunter Green. I like Hunter Green. Uh, Caleb Delbar. Simone Miziotti. Looks like he's going to be pretty good. Uh, Chris Archer. MJ Melendez. I think they're saying he's pretty good, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll put him in the good pile. One Last Dance, baby. I like that card. Corey Kluber. We got Cole Solzer. We got Sean Hilly and Junior Marte. And then George Springer, dude, all-star. He's really good, man. Him and Correa, man, and, and Altuve, they, dude. You know, I just think, I just think the Astros, honestly, I almost, I almost think the Astros kind of got rid of Correa and George Springer because they almost got tired of winning, you know? I mean, and a lot of it probably had to do, too, with the stigma and all that, you know? They had to kind of break up the old, uh, the old, uh, uh, I guess, you know, can of worms, if, uh, if that's fair to say, but they are great players, man, Correa, I think he's under, he's undervalued, Jose Altuve, his cards are, are, are getting up there, um, and then George Springer, definitely undervalued, but that's what happens, man, you know, when you're not flamboyant, you know, Correa, Kira's charismatic, uh, you know, popular, hitting home runs all the time. You kind of, um, you know, you don't get the love. Taylor Rogers, Joey Wentz, Joey Wentz to Detroit Tigers. Jordan Luplo, Brad Hand. Say, uh, Suzuki. That's a cool, that's a good hit, right? Everybody likes Suzuki, Nick Pizzetti. Carlos Rodon. Remember pulling his uh, prospect card, Orange Auto. Shane Baz was worth like 500 bucks. Got greedy. Thought it was going to be the next $5 million card, and now it's a $30 card. Tony Gosselin. There's the man right there, Mr. MVP himself, baby. Yeah, 
The dude's a stud, man. Dang, that card is like super, super centered. That is a beautiful card, man. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that's going to be a... That's going to be um, a, a possible... um. Because one of these days, I'm going to send in some cards, guys, to get graded. And when I do, I'm starting to pay attention to, um, you know, cards that are centered, off-centered, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, man. I want to send in my pink uh, Soto Chrome Update, his rookie. But I don't know, man. I mean, dude, it's like such a beautiful card. It's so centered. I've asked like 10 people to look at it to try to see. Like, this card is super centered, man. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, as you can see, those corners, like, boom, go to right there. Look at that corner. It almost hits the same way. So, anyways, that's how I kind of I kind of determine if it's a, a centered, well-centered card or not. I also have one of these little cheat sheets, like, where that tells you, um, anyways, anyways, enough talking, I gotta stay focused, guys, Hunter Green, 87, cool, we got a Paul Goldsmith, and then we got Kyle Tucker, so, alright, that's cool, Hunter Green, 87 there, but anyways, I want to send in my pink Soto, right? And But I don't know if I trust. I wish it was numbered. Like, you know, like 19 out of something. Because then I, I, I would know for sure that they couldn't, like, change it out with another pink Soto. Because I swear, man, the pink Soto I got is a 10. Like, it's probably like a, like a 10 plus. I mean, yeah. But, uh, like I said, man... With everything and all the mistakes and all the stuff, you know, you hear on YouTube and everywhere else. It's like, dude, I don't know if I trust them, you know. Yacy Kukuchi. Yeah, all time. Zach Granke, Jack Peterson, Jorge Soler. Nick Plummer, damn, we're at 12 minutes, guys. I gotta start flying. Alright, Chapman. Let's see here. We got Boston Flex. We got Andrew Stevenson. That's a cool card. Joe Smith. Yes. El Cuarto. There's Mariano Rivera. Love that guy. And then, ooh, nice. We got a Seiya Suzuki. So that's cool. Okay, we'll hurry and sleep those. But yeah, man. Um... I don't know, what do you guys think about sending in refractor cards and stuff like that that aren't numbered into PSA or Beckett, I mean, you know, SGC or something like that? Do you guys trust that they'll, like, that they won't swap your card out and shit? I mean, I don't know. How do you know if they do or they don't, right? I mean, do you, like, take pictures of every single, like, corner? And, I mean, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Alex Colomb, Kyle Cody, 300,000 hits. Chad Kuehl, Kobe, ninth all-time. Kyle Ispil, Hunter Strickland. We got Reed Detmers. Uh, we got Ryan Yarbrough. We got Connor. We got Infield Crew. And then we got Matt Brash. Garrett Cole, stud. And then we got Jaron Duran right there for the Boston. He'll probably be good. All right, guys. So I think what I'll do is I'll do these packs today in this video. And then I'll do the blaster. And then I'll do the, the both hanger boxes. And then everybody can go watch the three vids. And see what they think, you know. Is it, uh, does the, um, does the retail packs beat the blaster in the hanger box? Or does, uh, you know, vice versa, the blaster beat the retail packs? And, you know, whoop de woo woo woo. All right. Let's see, we got, uh, Mackenzie Gore, we got Louise Gilmore. 
JJ Nukovic. Let's see, we got Albert Abreu, Hunter Strickland, Cesar Hernandez, Lucius Fox. I wonder if he's gonna be good, man. Chris Bassett. You know what? Let's see here. It says Lucius Fox. It says uh, Lucius was a serious track athlete as a youngster before a shin fracture prompted him to go all in on baseball. The love for running, though, hasn't dissolved in his first month with Washington in 2022. Fox ranked in the 96th percentile for sprint speed. Each of his initial two hits, both notched on May 1st, were of the infield single variety. That's cool, man. So he's a go-getter, bro. He's an athlete. He might be good. Andre Palante, uh, Seth Lugo, and then we got an Andy Patati, Pate, Pate, or Patetti, Pate, Pate, uh, Paragons of the Postseason 2001, and then we got Andrew McCutcheon. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, losing stuff, losing. I need some more sleeves. But yeah, man, like I said, guys, um, 2022 tops update, super fun stuff to rip, you know, all this talk about the hobby, this, the hobby, that, not going down, not going up, not ever going to bounce back, um, you know, uh, you know, new trash, whatever era, you know, million prints of everything. It's like, you know what, man, it's all about just ripping and getting good hits man sharing with one another i mean guys we got youtube you know how cool is that to be able to make these videos and share our hits not only on youtube but i mean on instagram facebook you know you get to be part of groups and i mean bro it's an amazing time right now it's an amazing time you know if you really think about it i mean but i bitch and gripe and moan too you know I mean, I, I don't want them printing and all that stuff either, but damn, like, it is what it is, so I might as well just enjoy it. We got Gabriel Arias, Clint Frazier, Kurt, Vid there's Vidal Bruhan, Eduardo Rodriguez, we got Josh Rojas, Cole Urban, Luke Williams, Corey Sear. Although I will tell you guys, man, I am it, buying stuff and stopping at every store became an addiction, guys. Like, it really did. And I've been trying to battle it lately. I don't know if any of you guys are going through it, Stephen Kwan. Uh, but I am, man. You know, it's been super hard to walk in these stores and not spend two, $300 every store, man. Um, I mean... Like, dude, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I was spending over a thousand dollars every week on sports cards, man. You know, now that I gotta pay my taxes and shit, I'm, it's like, damn, bro. Yeah, so anyways, I just kind of wanted to share that with you fellers. And, uh, you know, if any of you guys are going through the same thing, man, I feel ya. I feel ya, man. You know, I just been kind of having to be a little a little like tough on myself and just you know like really i mean just really having to just tell myself no like no dude we're not but it is hard man like i heard one guy on a youtube channel saying that like like buying cards you know uh checking online chasing the restock it's like it's not even about the product anymore but it's more just the addiction and, uh, you know, it's, uh, as far as, it, as far as I'm concerned for myself personally, yeah, man, it, 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 it is, it, it, it did. And, um, yeah, but anyways, just wanted to get that off the chest real quick. Thanks guys for checking out the video. Check out the next video guys where I'm going to rip the blaster box. And then, uh, after that, I'm going to rip the, the hanger boxes. So these were lids retail packs here the blaster box is uh, barnes and noble and then of course these are from walgreens so check out the other vids guys please comment uh like subscribe you know thumbs up thumbs down smiley face frowny face uh you know 
whatever just something even just a question mark a period or something on there man it just helps i guess with the algorithm which helps the video get out to other people like no again it just helps the video get more notice i guess on youtube right to more people so it helps guys if you guys are out there checking out videos always remember to uh you know like comment if you guys can if you guys uh you know are uh so kind but uh with that man i'm rex i'll be back with some more packs on the next freestyle rip and um yeah man and then of course guys Hope you guys get what you guys got coming. I hope it's all good. I hope it's all positive, man. And, uh, you know, keep collecting. I'll check you guys out on the next one. Till then, you guys know what it is. I'm out.